Jeep's EV Summit was the best showcase during Stellantis EV Day. They didn't hide any cars on the covers, talk with any trucks covered up the entire time, or make you worry about range anxiety. What Jeep Show was an exciting showcase of new tech, confirmed new 4xe models, and then Jeep also snuck in some things that they are working on in a separate video like self-inflating tires. So we're going over everything coming in the near future and what it means for the other brands in this video. So let's get to the stuff. Jeep's EV Day went all in the 4x8 system. They confirmed every vehicle Jeep sells will have a 4x8 version by 2025. So that means that the Wrangler, the Gladiator, the Compass, the Renegade, the Cherokee, the Grand Cherokee, the Wagoneer, and the Grand Wagoneer will be electrified. Every vehicle I listed was in the US market. If you did not know, the Jeep Commander is coming back in the Latin market only and was shown later in the live stream. There wasn't clear information about every market going with a 4x8 system, but they most likely will. Jeep also expects 70% of sales to be electrified by 2025. If you look at the five print below, you'll see that all different formats of electrification, BEV, PHEV, HEV, and MHEV. A quick breakdown of those different EVs is BEV will be a fully electric, no combustion engine. I'll talk about the Magneto shortly. PHEV is what the 4xe system is. HEV is the e-torque system that will assist the car in getting better fuel economy and use regenerative braking to recharge the battery. And MHEV is essentially the start-stop technology. One thing that's confusing is that the Jeep CEO says zero emission 4xe vehicles will be coming in every segment by 20 25, but the phobia system is not zero emission. So a BEV without an ICE drivetrain looks to be confirmed in every model as well as the phobia E. If I take the Wrangler for example, we can see a V6 e-torque, a phobia E, and a Magneto option. Not saying every model will get all these options, but this could be the electric formula until hybrids are phased out by 2030. Now let's get into the technology because they showed a lot of it. Also remember, Solantis said that they are going to share technology between all the brands, so all the features can also apply to Ram and Dodge. First, we have a solo charge the station is placed off road at select trails. Next, we see some automation tech on display that looks to have the Wrangler recognize your face, unlock the door, and wait the vehicle. Most like a Jeep would use is to precondition the car, but not remote start the ice engine in the 4 by variants. Would be odd if it starts your AC every single time you walk by your car, even though you're not planning on driving. Now, Jeep didn't say it by name and only talked about the 4 by e but the white Jeep, in fact, is the fully electric Magneto Wrangler that was at Easter Jeep Safari this year. I say this because it's the same color, stickers, winch, but they removed Move the red logo and then change the Magneto logo to Freedom. You look at the five print below and it confirms that it is a bell concept and by 2025 we will see a full extra Jeep. My money is on this Wrangler since they have a working prototype already. Jeep snuck in after the live stream that you have the ability to power a campsite which confirms platform sharing with Ram onboard power option that will be on the 2024 Ram 1500 Bell. This shot shows the Magneto perform a vehicle to vehicle charging. If you look closely you can see the battery have a 95% charge and then gets drained by the 4 by e What would be interesting is if you have a dead battery in a Magneto, can a 4 by e charge you by using the gas motor as a generator? Or will you have to carry one of those EV charging packs around? Next up are the drones coming out of the hood and being able to illuminate the trails. I was looking through the footage and can't see how they come out of the hood either by the air intake or if they're just stored on top. The Magneto was used in this shot and we can also see they have a full light bar hidden in Jeep traditional vertical grill design. This shot they added in later shows you have the ability to inflate and deflate your tires on demand. So this is confirmation of an onboard air compression system. Most likely it'll work with a tire pressure monitoring sensors to save you a trip to all four corners of your Wrangler and hopefully a future Ram Rebel and Ram TRX. Quick note is that the upcoming 100k Hummer EV won't do this. In that EV you have to put your desired tire pressure into the radio and go to each wheel to release air. And then the Hummer EV will be nice enough to hunk its horn and let you know that you reach the desired air pressure. And don't forget to bring your air pump. You wouldn't want to drive on the road with deflated tires. The Hummer EV got 99 features and air compression ain't one. Just saying. Now the tech for this section is for 2030. Now we can see with this shot right here, autonomous off-road driving. Now I don't believe it'll take this long for autonomy to be introduced, but Ram stated by 2024 they plan to have autonomy added to their brand. Most likely in 2030, you can go on a hike and summon your Wrangler to you. With platform sharing, I'll say Jeep, Ram, and Dodge will have self-driving system by 2024 and most likely follow in GM and Ford Super Cruise and Blue Cruise footsteps and charge subscription fee for hands-free driving. Jeep shows remote vehicle tracking on eyewear but give 
given the failure of Google Glass a couple years ago, I'll hold my breath on this one. G says 2030, so maybe nine years of development could work out the issues. In this shot, we see the ability to lay down flat while the vehicle is driving off road. Ford does this in F 150 with his seats laying flat, so I don't think it'll take nine years for Jeep to do the same thing. I'm going to be very interested to see how a Wrangler is going to learn how to drive off road. In the desert, it might work a little bit easier, but over here in the East Coast, we have trees, bushes, and tight forest trails that might make that a tough one to program. The last wild thing Jeep threw in was the underwater Wrangler driving. Now this isn't something that they're working on. If you look down at the fine print, this is only a fiction. A nice subtle touch is the catfish scrolling past the screen in order to defer the trollers. I don't see a Wrangler submarine happening, but you can always get your Jeep fix on with the Panther. But thanks to CARB, we're just SOL. Just saying. Once part numbers are going to vary depending on which platform Jeep places their different EVs on. So I'll go through all of them. There is a report that Jeep will release a small fully electric SUV that is said to be pint size and smaller than the Jeep Renegade using engines from PSA. If they put it on a cell of small platform, then it could be between 93 and 279 horsepower in a tri-motor setup. Jeeps like the Wrangler, the Gladiator, and the Renegade will most likely be on a cell of medium platform. Those EVs can get between 167 and 723 horsepower on a tri-motor setup. It'll be interesting to put Hellcat numbers in a Wrangler, but it seems to be an awesome model like the one done from Retro Shop. The bigger vehicles, regardless if it rides on a cell of large or frame platform like the Grand Cherokee, if it keeps its name, the Grand Wagoneer, if Jeep can figure out how to spell it, can get the high horsepower EVs. I broke it all down in the CUDA video, so not to beat a dead horse, I'll just put it on the screen. It would be very interesting to see a 1300 horsepower track off slaying a Model X Plaid in the very near future. It all just depends that Elon doesn't have anything else cooking up his sleeves. Charging speed is going to be a question for these EVs. Now, Ram quoted 150 kilowatts for their trucks. Salanta so says they're going to do a class leading 20 miles a minute in this shot right here. Range, depending on which EV these platforms ride on, will be between 300 and 500 miles. Most likely, this will be the standard range version that you pay extra for and not the standard versions. And that's it for this video, guys. Jeep was the best EV day showcase because they confirmed new models and didn't high tech that they would like to bring to the market. I only wish Dodge and Ram would have done the same thing where they've been very cryptic. Stay with your chest and stop hiding Easter eggs. So help a butter out by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, I'm out.